Hello, I'm Christina from the Professional Writing Academy and I'm here with our Introduction to Crime Writing tutor, Tom Bromley, who's going to give some sage advice to anybody thinking about or already writing crime fiction. Hi Tom. Hi Christina, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Now just imagine um, that I'm thinking of writing a crime novel. What are the first things I need to think about? Um, or is it just really about concentrating on making it a good story? Well, I think stories important. important. My, I mean, my normal rule of thumb with, with writing any kind of book really is that um, a reader will read on for one of two reasons. Firstly, because they care about the characters and secondly, because they want to know what happens next. And I suppose in a crime novel, those two particular elements are um, especially important. I mean, that what happens next page turning uh, element is kind of crucial uh, to think about the success of a crime novel, but also you need characters to care about as well, whether that's your, um, you know, kind of your kind of detective kind of protagonist, whether it's the the, the victims of the crime or, or whatever, you need to bring those out too. And I think that that latter point about the characters gives the story its kind of emotional um, pull and, and keeps the kind of reader reading on as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so if I was starting to think about a crime novel, those are the two kind of elements. Um, I would have in the back of my mind from the beginning. And who, who in the crime novel, who, who do I need to think about most? I mean, is it the, is it the detective? Is it the, uh, you know, the characters around them? Is it the, the criminals? Who, what's the main focus for me or does it change? I think, I think it changes from, uh, yeah, from book to book and from author to author. Um, so for example, I had a, um, I did an interview recently with a, with a crime writer called Fergus McNeil, um, and in his books, actually, he was as interested in the, in the serial killer in his books as he was in the kind of police detective. So there the balance was slightly different. Um, but I think in, usually, certainly if it's a, more of a kind of police procedural novel, um, then you want that focus on the kind of the lead detective and you want to get a sense of, I guess, kind of working through the crime with them and understanding, you know, their, their challenges in, in, in solving the kind of mystery at the heart of the, um, heart of the book. I mean, ultimately, you need to have someone to root for um, and in different books that can kind of work in slightly different ways. I mean, I personally am a big fan of, of um, Patricia Highsmith um, <laughs> as a crime writer. And certainly her, you know, her protagonists are quite dark. I mean, they're not, you know, they're not likeable, but as a reader, they're interested and you care about them. So you, you do follow on and, and carry on seeing what's going to happen to them. Yeah, and Hannibal Lecter as well, I suppose. Yes, no, he's not a... <laughs> <laughs> He's not too likable, I don't think. But you know, I think that that's one of those one of those crucial things about characterization, where it's the difference between liking a character and caring about a character. Um, and quite often, I think beginner writers do that thing where they think the lead character has to be likable, and you end up with just this slightly kind of bland, nice, kind of dull individual. And actually, it's you know, it, it's something else that tends to spark the reader's interest. Yeah. I mean, is it about the tension between the protagonist and the antagonist, assuming that the detective in most cases is um, the protagonist? Is it about creating that tension between those two forces? I think, yeah, I, th I think there's definitely an element there, um, as in, I mean, not just in crime, but I guess kind of in, in any kind of a novel, you need that, you need that conflict uh, there. And I think it's, I think for me the conflict is is kind of twofold. You need the conflict in the story between you know the, the protagonist, the good guy, rubbing up against the antagonist, the bad guy. But then also I think you need a a sort of equivalent conflict within the kind of lead character themselves. There's something about them as a character that is unresolved, that is kind of rubbing up against uh, each other that they need to kind of uh, yeah kind of deal with as well. And I think that that element again is, is, is important to kind of bring out. Yeah. I mean, you only have to walk into a bookshop to see what a massive genre crime is, and it's very popular. Everybody loves it. But if I'm, if I'm embarking on, on writing a, a crime novel, how can I, is there any, any ideas you've got for how I can really make it stand out? I mean, I don't know if there are trends or anything like that, but what's going to really make mine stand out from the crowd? I think I, mean, I, I personally would always try to avoid um, trends because I think by the time you've written a book and it's it's been published, it's, so it's such a long gestation period that the kind of the market would kind of move on anyway. I mean, at the moment, as we're talking, um, kind of psychological thrillers is the kind of the big thing with, you know, following on from kind of Gone Girl and the kind of girl on the train. And, then, and there's a, a lot of books out at the moment about that. But if you started to write now, um, you know, psychological thrillers may well not be successful uh, by, by that point. 
I mean, I would say normally it, it's coming up with a, a kind of fresh, distinctive voice. And in particular, it's coming up with an interesting lead character. Um, I mean, publishers generally are looking for crime books as a, as a series with a kind of repeat central character. So it's, it's having someone there who the reader is going to care about and, and follow. Um, and for me, if you were looking as an example, I love um, Henning Mankell. I think his Kurt Volander books are fantastic and are a really good balance between a kind of story uh, and an individual who, who you care about as a reader. Um, so if I was starting out, I would be looking at uh, looking at writers writers like that uh, for inspiration. I'm increasingly hearing that um, people should consider when they're when they're when they're embarking on crime, as you say, series rather than one-offs, maybe. But also, is it worth the authors thinking about the television potential or the filmic potential of of what they're writing, or is that just a side issue that they should just get over? I, I, I think that's a bonus. I, th I think you've just got to focus on the book, you know, because um, I mean, you know, so, some some stories will work, you know, as a novel that may not work kind of on screen. Um, and I think you've just got to write the book that you want to write. And if that is adaptable for television or, or film, then mm -hmm. fantastic. But I think if you write, start writing with that idea in the back of your mind that it's going to be, you know, a book and a film and a, you yeah, know, yeah as a TV show and all the rest of it, then I think you, you're more likely to get unstuck. I mean, it, it's, it's the same kind of thing, I think, in the way where people chase the market. So they think, you know, this kind of book is successful at the moment, so I'm going to write a book about, you know, wizards at a school, you know, because that's obviously... Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't have authenticity, does it, really, if you're, if you're thinking right. about anything other than the actual book that you want to write? I mean, the other element in crime I, I think is, I, th I do think is important, is kind of setting and, and place. I mean, I think really good crime fiction tends to have um, a kind of central location at its heart that gives the story its atmosphere. Um, so if I was looking for a USP, I would perhaps think about, you know, wh where are these books going to be set? What, what, what is the location? How can I make the most of that? Mm. And maybe start from, from, from that angle. Okay, thanks. I mean, just one, just finally, if I'm, um, if I don't really plan to write a crime novel, is it useful for me to understand the conventions of crime fiction or the other elements of crime that it would be useful for me to learn? I mean, would it, is it relevant to anything else other than you know, crime fiction? Yeah, well, I, I, I guess one, one, of the, one of the reasons that people read kind of crime or, or, or thrillers is in terms of story and in terms of uh, kind of pace, uh, kind of tension and, and, and mystery and all these kind of elements where, you know, whatever kind of book you're writing, those are useful to kind of, um, yeah, useful to know about and be able to kind of utilise fully um and i personally think you know that there's lots to be learned in kind of any kind of genre i'm not i'm not someone who's kind of sniffy about kind of genre fiction at all i think it it stands on its own two feet and there's always plenty you can learn mm -hmm. um, and certainly i've had writers who are, i've worked with who are writing more kind of literary fiction who then come and done this this crime course because they wanted to give their give their stories a bit of a boost. And, and yeah. certainly I think if you, if you look at crime fiction, you know, there's plenty there you can take away and then kind of use for your, your own writing, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, tension and suspense in particular, I would imagine. Yeah, no, very, very important. Yeah. Uh, and it's, you know, it, it's something where, and, and I, I think actually generally kind of plotting, uh, kind of more generally, I, I think quite often crime books are very kind of tightly plotted. And sometimes when people struggle with plot, you know, to go and look at, at, at crime and, and see how that works can be really instructive. Okay, thanks, Tom. I think there's some uh, really great information there. Um, uh, thanks very much and see you in the virtual classroom. Okay, cheers now. Okay. Um, so if you'd like to know more about the introduction to crime, writing crime fiction that Tom teaches, um, please visit our website at the Professional Writing Academy. Uh, thanks very much. Bye.